would have ever, ever considered we'd be talking about cutting up vacuum bags and wearing them on our face as a mask, but it turns out vacuum bags are one of the most effective materials that you can make a mask out of, effective for filtering out germs and viruses. Turn the whole thing over. Around the country, around the world, people are making their own masks, which may help slow the spread of coronavirus by as much as 10%, according to some researchers. But it's certainly prudent to, to use one if you've got one or can make one uh, out of you know materials you have in your home. John Adgate is an exposure scientist at the Colorado School of Public Health. There's some evidence that they will protect the public both um, if you if you've got the coronavirus, it will help stop, you know, uh, projecting it out into the air. He says one benefit of wearing a DIY mask, it may make you less likely to touch your face, which is a surefire way to spread the virus. No matter what you make your mask out of, Adgate says, the most important thing is that it tightly seals to your face. It's the fit issue. You, you could have that good filter, but if it, it doesn't seal, it's not it's not as good as um, you might think. So what should you make it out of? Multiple studies have shown that actual surgical masks are the best, but they're followed closely by vacuum cleaner bags. After that, dish towels have proved effective at capturing droplets, along with cotton t-shirts and antimicrobial pillowcases. Well, the, the most effective things at filtering have a lot of surface area. Um, you know, they have a small, small holes, you know, micron or less, and they have surface area so the, the particles get, can, they'll bump into things and then stay there. But here's the thing. While vacuum cleaner bags may be effective, they can also be harder to breathe through and therefore uncomfortable to wear. So experts say find something that's effective at filtering, but is also comfortable to breathe through. Something is better than nothing, correct? Yes. Yeah, I, one would think so. I mean, there's not great scientific evidence for that, but, but it, it certainly is prudent. And that may be the bottom line. Something is better than nothing. Virtually anything you wear on your face will filter some things out. But it's up to you how you do it and what you use. So we're going to put a lot more information on our website, cbsdenver.com, about putting together your DIY mask, what materials you use, and how to make it. Remember this though, a mask is not a substitute for washing your hands and social distancing. It's just another tool. Reporting live in Denver, I'm Brian Moss, covering Colorado First.